All right, hey, this is uh, Chef Nathan Bates back here at Tavern on Cruise. We're doing a cool spin on a classic beef Wellington. Today we're gonna use elk saddle instead of the beef. Um, it's gonna add a, a cool kind of gamey uh, influence to it, and it's also a more of a Pacific Northwest uh, flair to it. The classic dish of a Wellington is basically a tenderloin wrapped up in puff pastry with some uh, our mushroom duck cell with a little bit of uh, pate mixed into it, spinach, and then we egg wash it and we, we cook it in the oven, and then we slice it right in half and expose the, uh, the beautiful mid-rare voila moment. Uh, it's gonna be served with a roasted garlic and potato puree. And uh, we're gonna whip right through this, here we go. For the beef wellington, we're gonna pair it with a very classical sauce. When I, when I say classical, um, you know, I went to a classical cuisine school. It's, it's French-based classical cuisine. So whenever you say something as a classic pairing or is classical, that's, that's basically what, what I'm trying to say. It's French, right? Egg yolks, lemon juice, season with some salt and pepper, and espelette chili powder. We're gonna wait until after it's done to add the fresh tarragon. Fun fact is a tarragon hollandaise is technically a bernaise. 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 So once this comes up to a boil, I'll bring it over and we're gonna do the blah, blah, blah. We're putting that in there. Yeah. While it's at a boil? Yeah. Wow. So once all the hot butter is incorporated, check it. not broken, it's creamy, and we're just going to add just a touch of water for a little stability. The next component to the dish is going to be our roasted garlic and uh, potato puree. We're going to put the russet potatoes on because they're a little more smoother and less gummy. So we, we're going to cook those until they're very soft and then we're going to blend them up. And a little bit of cream cheese, salt and pepper, and a little bit of roasted garlic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, due to some technical difficulties, we lost some video and I get to reshoot it myself. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to blanch some spinach and we're going to take some spinach, throw it in some boiling water, pull it out once it gets a little wilty and then we're going to throw it in an ice bath and that'll help the color stay and it'll keep all the flavor intact. All right, set that aside. Next, we're going to talk about a mushroom duck self. Basically, these are not the mushrooms you're going to be eating. These are ones that John has cut up and seasoned and stuffed for tavern burgers. So I'm gonna chop these about as fine as I can get them. If they let me use all the expensive toys around here, I'd put them in a robo coop and just give it a quick pulse. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw them in a pan. As we turn it into a paste, we're going to be drying them out a little bit. We're gonna be doing what we can to get rid of as much of the moisture in the mushrooms as possible. And when we cook the elk, the juices from the elk will actually reabsorb into the mushrooms and create this magnificent sort of flavor. And so the last thing is thank you for letting me fill in today on Nate's rare day off. Uh, I hope I haven't embarrassed him. We're gonna season our, our elk loin here. We're going to make an egg wash, which is a combination of egg yolks, and a little bit of heavy cream, this is what's going to give it that really nice shiny look on the outside. Now that we've egg washed the inside of the puff pastry, we're going to add our components. There's 
Okay, so we temped our Wellington out of the oven at 135. It's gonna carry over for a little bit. Should be a perfectly medium rare. Better on the rare side for Wellington. You guys cook it the way you guys want it. Okay, now we have all of our components here. We're gonna plate up our Elk Wellington. <laughs> 